if you're all posed with something like this, you know, what's going through your mind? What's your thought process? Are you looking to get involved or you just keep walking down the hallway and just say, we'll deal with this another day. That's right, buddy. You put Watch the in full and, video and we'll, on we'll orthobullets.com. Yeah, exactly that. And there, I, from, you know, my thoughts are if there's a volume expanding lesion of the pelvis and they happen to be in there, then, and it happens to be daylight hours and I'm around, then maybe we put an X-Fix on. If there's an open perineum or something, we maybe debris. But otherwise, uh, traction and a binder are, and or a binder, if there's a volume expanding lesion, it's fine. This one, there's not a volume expanding lesion. It mainly just needs traction and, and stability. And I don't know that jumping in acutely um, changes anything. You know, obviously they're going to open up the front to potentially do a bladder repair. You at least want to talk to them about what they're planning to do with uh, the urologic injury, uh, because they can affect your later surgical approaches and plan. But, um, as far as doing stuff acutely with them at that time, I'm not sure that I've, I've found that to be very fruitful.